Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Scene Investigation, where we take a look at different projects to decide whether or not they'll be worth investing in. Today we'll be looking at Vulcan Forge. Now remember, with anything I say in this video, none of it should be considered as financial advice, alright? Cool. Let's get started. Vulcan Forge. First of all, let's learn what exactly is Vulcan Forged. What is Vulcan Forged? So this word is actually pronounced pear. Um, Vulcan Forged is a blockchain game studio and NFT marketplace. They are the makers of Vulcanverse. Peer is the native utility token that is used for fees for marketplace. So I'm not going to read all those out because it's pretty basic. Um, uh, Vulcan Forge platforms and games include. So as we can see, there is there is a decent amount of projects going on. Um, and actually, if I click onto one of these. One of these links somewhere, I believe it's here. Um, we can actually have a look at some of the other games and applications which um, they have already participated in. So, just to give you an idea, these guys actually started out as a game studio um, and they moved over to the blockchain slash space network because they liked the idea of assets being online. Now, let's have a look at some of our usual suspects, eh? So first one is BSC check. What does that say about it? Um, so it doesn't look like it's a honeypot from what I've seen. Um, the one thing <laughs> which stands out for me, and you guys know I like to do this, the token supply. 52% into a certain wallet. Now keep in mind there was a hack which happened recently. Um, and what is cool is that Vulcan Forge actually managed to um, refund all of the users whose um, whose coins and everything were actually hacked. I don't know what sort of preventions they are having because I didn't do a heavy amount of research into that. But we have a look at the token supply. Now, 52% is an awfully high amount. Um, that makes me a bit suspect. Um, and one thing which I found a bit of contradicting information about this could be because a lot of this is talking about TUSD um, but they said uh, there are around 50 million um, pair tokens created 20 million of them are, are max circulation okay no I think I understand that now um, yeah so I don't kind of get how it's like <laughs> 19 million uh, circulating whereas we have okay no i understand what this is now cool this actually makes a lot of sense now so what this is this would be the this is kind of like the the, the kind of locked wallet so let's actually have a look at some of the tokenomics which i mentioned so we have um so these are the sort of different i guess token distribution schedules so we have um so what's interesting is that this is that the team allowance is allowed five percent although if we actually have a look in their actual white paper in their white paper it does actually state that they have um that they have, uh, what is it called? So about 20% will be going to the core team. Um, reward pools, 10%. So 20% so is a good number. That is a safe number. That is not a bad number at all. Um, so we've got token sale, which looks good, community reserve. Um, and yeah, so from what I've seen, so they have, so staking pools, team allowance, ICO slash circulate and supply. Um, which as we can see it is it is currently 20 million which yeah gosh I should have seen that coming and the reserve um, which is 14 uh, million five hundred thousand so what does this mean for us it means that we're probably looking pretty good um, so I'd say that that this little 15% I'm likely thinking that that is uh, probably a part of the core team um, which that isn't bad because um, keep in mind these guys did start out as a game studio now is there possibly could this be a rug pull potentially um, we don't exactly know that just here for something which has a market cap of 362 million dollars though it's very unlikely that this will be a rug pull I would say it's very unlikely especially with a market cap which is that high um, and as you can see so rank 244 so these guys would be above some of the other projects which I would have looked at as well. Um, so that's what that says. Token sniffer. So it says 30 out of 100 um, high risk. So no prior similar token contracts. I mean, that's fine. So essentially, so from what I saw is that these guys are actually on um, Etherscan. So they're actually on the Ether sort of chain i guess <laughs> sorry for lack of for lack of words um all other holders possess less than five percent of token supply yeah so 
Yeah, so that sort of stuff which I was saying where, you know, like, it's... It doesn't seem to be a rug pull, but it has a possibility of being a rug pull because of the information. Now, I try to find a roadmap with these guys. That was a heckin' mission, dude. Um, I can't see a direct roadmap. I tried looking up and down the website, couldn't find anything which really said to me, oh, you know, these guys are definitely, um, yeah, these guys have got some good stuff coming up. The only stuff which I have seen, um, which is December is the testnet launch, which I believe was posted on the 11th, um, and token swap um and as far as i know we don't currently have exact dates for when these are actually going to come in so that was that was pretty annoying to be honest um yeah so i'm not really a big fan of that let's have a look at some actually no before we jump to the red stats let's have a look at uh we'll have a look at the team who is the team this kind of bugged me a little bit we've only got two guys who have actually got their full names and jamie thompson which is interesting because he has this picture of that person which is not actually this guy um so is the website in tip top condition keep in mind this isn't really zoomed in this is like this is like 100 percent. so it's pretty heck and huge um <laughs> yeah i'm not sure why it's so big um but yeah so as i say i couldn't see anything regarding that um so yeah so we have a look here um so the the only one which i could find anybody or anything on is jamie thompson i found his linkedin and he does have a twitter profile but here is his linkedin like i mean some people have given endorsements as they say but i mean in all honesty this this doesn't attract me this doesn't attract me when we can't see who they are Oh, Narina, yo, this is the other chick. Um, so that would be, yeah, okay. So we we can find out more about Narina. So that's actually good because I was actually wondering where, <laughs> where, where, um, where her where her thing was, where Yanis's Yanis thing <laughs> things were. Um, so yeah, no, I think that's I think that's really awesome actually that, that we get to see a, a little a little bit. Um, Giannis, man, okay, that is cool. So, never mind. So the these guys actually do have a little bit of something, and we can actually see some games which have been worked on. So catch the head on Steam and Scar on Steam. Do not know how good these games have been, and you guys are probably wondering, yo, why the heck are you suggesting us this potential project? Um, and I mean, am I suggesting it or am, am I just telling you about it? Um, <laughs> we'll come to that conclusion once we get to the end. Uh, so yeah, so they will also have their own decks, which is cool. Um, and as we can see, here are some other sort of games and things which they have been working with. Um, so those are cool. Partnerships. Now these are kind of cool. The partnership Spark Labs, The Sandbox, Blockchain Game Alliance, and Polygon. Now, all of those stood out to me because I was like, oof. So, these guys don't have bad, um, they don't have bad people who are sponsoring them. Like, they actually have people who are decently known. Um, so, that's, so, that's a pretty good sign, to be honest, from my point of view. So, the Reddit stats. Um, haven't found anything to, you know, like, um, well, actually, you know, let's actually have a look. Let's actually have a look. So, this is one of the pictures showing a possible breakout, which may be happening. Um, I haven't seen any, or I didn't get to sort of see the comments on the post. Um, but yeah, we don't really need to look into that. So let's have a look. So I'm actually deciding to look on to Reddit to see if I can find anything which sort of stands out. So one thing is that Vulcan Forge was actually on Fox Business, which, or they had an interview with, with Fox Business, which is quite cool. Um, but let's actually watch this video together. So this is Jamie Thompson, the guy who's the CEO, explaining um, explaining sort of a little bit more about the about the hack in more detail. Gosh, so I try to play the video, uh, the tweet, um, but it says this tweet has been deleted. Uh, so I don't know what exactly is going on with that. Um, blacklist and smart contract very worrisome. Only a matter of time before governments start pressuring devs, dev teams to set up a no-fly list yeah um i don't know i mean if you sort of think about it these guys don't have a natural background in blockchain um so that could be you know either considered hes hesitancy or a positive because they do have a background in gaming um 
yeah so anyway um yeah that's a bit sussy for me man it's a bit too sussy um so let's have a look at this so so their growth has been all right the growth has been all right there's been yeah it's it's pretty average to be honest it's i wouldn't say it's marvelous um but yeah i'll, I'll give you guys my full opinion at the end um sorry for such um for such loudness but anyway let's have a look um so last 30 days 24,000 okay so that's out of how many um let's go into the details so it's out of 63,000 so that's okay um yes as we can see it's it's all right like that's almost about a third that's probably actually no that might actually be more than a third yeah take that back that's probably just over a third um yeah so it's pretty good it seems like it's getting talked about i did check some of their posts as well just you know see if they were actually a well wouldn't say rug pull but to see if they were actually um not just like spamming titles and stuff like that so they are all right um so google trends tells us a little bit so past 90 days, let's have a look at the past 30 days. Let's see if we can find out some about these. So as you can see, I've sort of put, so the blue is Vulcan Forge, red's, red is pear, and Vulcan Forge pear is yellow. Um, so yeah, it looks like it looks like there's been a little bit less sort of research recently. Um, but yeah, I mean, December 19th would probably make sense because I imagine that, that that's probably when like the big hack happened. Um, yeah, but I don't really know why it said tweet was deleted. Um, yeah, so I'll just quickly check if there's anything else which we can go over. Honestly, guys, um, so let me tell you why I brought this up in the first place. Um, so I saw that Alex Becker tweeted something about this. Um, he tweeted something about Vulcan Forge Pier, and I'm like, oof, I will have a look into it. Because he says it could do something similar to D-Race. Um, so I personally haven't looked into what happened during the D-Race hack, but apparently D-Race got... Uh, got hacked there was like what he what he probably calls bloodshed um or 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 kind of like when people are down in the blood or whatever um which would be where you know like this could potentially be a possibly good time to be looking at buying something like this right because it's probably dipped a little bit especially after the hack and it could go up again so apparently one of the actual comments regarding the hack itself um mentioned something about the so here's an interesting comment from Reddit. Um, it was $35 before the hack, before all the news. Uh, the way the company handled the hack secured folks' holdings and implemented a change. I think it was great. So I'll be holding long term. Um, I mean, you'll probably find a lot of like, I don't want to use the word shilling, but promoting um, on the general sort of subreddits which belong to certain coins like Cardano and yeah like xrp and all those other guys like you find they call them maxis i believe is the is the proper name or term um but yeah so the question is will i personally be buying stuff myself from here um i mean i'm probably i probably won't <laughs> to be honest with you um i mean i may get a few bucks in it but i haven't been convinced heavily enough to see what roadmap they have um to be able to say yes this is going to be a great holding i mean the the tokenomics seem decent so the, the tokenomics are definitely good um especially with um or i mean if this top wallet is what i think it is then it looks good if it's not what i think it is then that's a bad time um i don't like how we how, how, how we can't see enough of the team um usually sort of like a, a bit of like a patero um website kind of like this is um uh, i don't know i don't know man i just it's not the best but i think that they are definitely trying to dip their feet into the cryptosphere um yeah so anyway thank you guys for watching um sorry for some of those complications uh which happened earlier but yeah that was kind of funky um if you guys really like this video please consider liking commenting and subscribing um because yeah that would really help um yeah <laughs>
<laughs> also, if you want to, um, you can buy uh, these coins on Binance, Gate.io, and KuCoin, which I do have links in my description um, regarding those. So anyway, much love, many blessings, ta-ta, and fare thee well.